and it is a big one for Bohemians who are coming into the back of this game of the Dublin Derby from last Friday, which they lost by three goals to one. So as we have a look at the two sides, there's four changes for Bohemians. And in comes Sam Packham at right back. Jordan Doherty fills in at centre half for Grant Horton and Max Murphy is the man who steps down from right back. And then also coming into the Bohemians team, Promise on a share gets a start tonight, as does Liam Burt and Ali Coote on the wings there for Bohemians. And it is the first time that Amashare and Junior have started up front together. They did play up front in the Rovers game last week. As we look at the UCD team, meanwhile, we've got uh, Healy in goal, and it looks like a back four of Ryan, Gallagher, Todd and Ozam. We'll have a look at that for you later on. And Brennan and Higgins in midfield behind the attacking trio of Duffy, Caffrey and Kerrigan, who's been doing very well for UCD this evening, or this season, I should say, and Colin Whelan leading the attack. Momentum of the attacking play is just broken down a bit for Bohemian, so Devoy will try and get it going once again. Doherty, Coots, outside now to pack him. A bit better this from Bohemians, sliding tackle there. Liam Burton Jr. has a shot, and that wasn't a bad effort there from the Bohemian striker, just wide of the goal. But is this now the sign of Bohemians coming into this game? It remains nil-nil, but the home team starting to show a little bit of life. Doherty to Packham. Packham now for Junior. Again, Gallagher heads it away. Wilson. Sorry, I should say Burt. Burt has a shot with his right boot. He's down to it. Doesn't hold on to it. Junior comes in. Puts that ball into the back of the net. And after a really good defensive effort from UCD, almost taking them to the break with a nil all scoreline. Junior pops up gets that rebound and slots it home it's Bohemians 1 UCD 0 ball picked up by right back Ryan sent into the Bowes box Coop picks it up clears it away to his fellow Scotsman Liam Burt turns and gets away from Brennan great pace here from Liam Burt he's got support on the right from Junior instead dribbles around Todd Burt has a shot with his right and it goes wide to the post another dazzling run by Liam Burt right to the middle of the UCD team and he took it on himself excellent stuff from Liam Burt that got the crowd off their feet it remains Bohemians 1 UCD 0 if you do have a lapse in concentration you will get punished so Bohemians on the ball it's Liam Burt to Coot on a share Junior has a shot no it's tackled here by Todd cries from behind the goal a penalty referee says yes it is a penalty kick to Bohemians Although the UCD players are asking him to speak to his linesman, I think they feel it wasn't a penalty. I thought it was harsh at first glance. I thought it was a brilliant recovery challenge, but the referee is in a great position. He's only probably seven or eight yards away. He's had a better view than me, and he's happy to give a penalty. But from my view anyway, at first glance, I thought it was harsh. I thought it was a brilliant defensive challenge. Dawson DeVoy did. Now oh, this one count for 2-0. Huge pressure on Devoy here as he steps up from 12 yards. Right footed shot into the back of the net. Dawson Devoy puts it home with ease. Brilliant. No problem for Dawson Devoy. It is Bohemians 2 UCD nil. Especially given his age. So his chances and his opportunities have been limited this season. So uh, good chance for him tonight, especially with two goals to nil up. Shouldn't feel any pressure and should be uh, looking forward to putting his own mark in the game. Here's the boy to Amashare. Good control by Amashare. Has a shot and it's a third goal for Bohemians. Promise Amashare steps up with a brilliant first touch and with his right boot he rifles that ball home. Promise Amashare has made it Bohemians 3. UCD 0. Flores who gets caught in possession here by Keeney. And Flores comes back to win it back for Bowes. Good recovery there from the former Northampton Town man. And here's Junior now, just controls that ball, is it going to land over the keeper's head? No, it doesn't, it took a deflection there, it was a good effort by Junior, ball took a deflection up in the air, and it goes out for a corner kick to Bohemians, it remains Bohemians nil, and UCD nil, or you post three UCD nil, a telling off from Trevor Crowley and Keith Long in full time, 
and it is full time so they won't be getting a telling off they kept their clean sheet by emails it's the first one since the start of april and most importantly they have bounced back from that defeat in the dublin derby last week with a 3-0 win against ucd andy myler the ucd boss goes over shakes hands with keith long he'll be pretty disappointed after a really good first half performance from his side in which they probably shaded the play but Bohemians took the all-important lead by a goal to nil, thanks to that goal from Junior. I don't think we tested a goalkeeper. Um, we had a couple of shots, but they were wide. Um, but Junior follows in, you know, from um, from the shot. Goalkeeper parries in. Junior's on hand to to, to get the to get us ahead in the game. So, forty third minute, I think we go in um, at half time, one nil up, and you know we we come out second half, and James Tolland makes a really really good save. I'm not quite sure whether. Um, you know, if we see it back on the television, I think you'll realise um, how good a save it is um, to keep it one 0 and we go down, we get a penalty. Dawson uh, converts the penalty, and then you know it's great to see Promise uh, getting a goal because I think he he needs that from a confidence point of view. Um, strikers, um, yeah, you live on confidence, and so it was great for Junior and him uh, and for Promise to get goals tonight. So that's that's pleasing, plus a clean sheet.